like, oh no, like we're not as shallow as guys are. Maybe she got them eyes, and then as soon as she smiles, she's like, <laughs> <"Bruh."> <laughs> <laughs> How do girls check out guys' butts? We're freestyling this, just so you yeah. know. Yeah. Disclaimer. This well, is it's good because you guys are rappers, so you guys should be on my side. Hey everyone, I'm Philip. And I'm Kathy. Welcome to an episode of It's Complicated. Yes, where we tackle more of your relationship questions. Mm -hmm. And as opposed to last week's episode where we were talking about breakups. Kind of a downer episode, huh? We're gonna bring it back around and talk about flirting today. Yes. And for this episode though, we reached out and found some very fitting guests for the topic of flirting. Yes. Uh, international music sensations and our friends, Far East Movement. Hey, hey. hey. welcome hello, guys. Hello. There's a lot, of, a lot of guys here. Hey, this is our, 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 I am our, overwhelmed right nope. now. Actually. I don't want to take sides, but this is one of our favorite shows on Ice. <laughs> we're like really excited yes. to see you. Yeah. Well, we're excited for you guys to be here, and today you guys are representing uh, the boys' side of flirting. I guess we'll have to do another episode. That's the girls' side. But, um, so far, I could do both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Are we the correct representation for all the males out there, though? You know, yeah. I don't know, because that's a good point. Because not all, the, like, not a lot of males out there can be traveling around the world. No, you I don't guys mean, are like that. on stage <laughs> having girls throwing themselves at you. So maybe you guys don't even know what flirting is, since the girls are just throwing themselves. We have, we have a good range of uh, personality. <laughs> Okay, so to get this episode started, let's just talk about some general, um, general questions. Ask guys, what is the first thing you look for in a girl? Are you talking about? This is gonna be bad, huh? Uh, so us three can answer it. <laughs> well, you know what? I gotta see if she's smart. It depends on what kind of grades. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the, on the real, you have you go for looks because yeah. you don't know the girl's personality when you first see her. You can't be like, oh, she's a sweet girl, but you never met her. Yeah. So you know. That's that's always honest. a smile. Honest. That's honest. honest. I'll take that. that. I take it to eyes, eyes and smile. Someone with like just the right eyes and the right sparks totally gets your attention, and you're just locked in. You're like a zombie. What if, what if she got them eyes and then as soon as she smiles, it's like <laughs> 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 All right, bro. You seem to be very. Uh, I vocal think uh, first thing that I look for in a girl is. To be honest with you, I, I think I'm a little random when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's chemistry wise. Like maybe you're standing next to a person and you have a good conversation, and that'll just draw you in. Yeah. Other times, it's like. Man, look at those pants. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I think that's totally true. I think obviously when you first meet someone, all you can judge off of is physical appearance. And it's after that, that's when you really get to find out mm -hmm. if you want to continue. So okay, sometimes some of those the prettiest ones are by five five sentences in, you're like, I'm yeah. over it. How about you? Because like girls are always yeah. different when it comes to that. What I look for in a guy? Definitely first impression would be their looks. So you gotta be facing See? girls though, because being a like it's not uh, well, yeah, okay. But then I move on right. from that too. Girls always act like, oh no, like we're not as shallow as guys are. Do's and don'ts of flirting. Do's. Don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so straight up. You know, yeah, you definitely don't talk about yourself too much. Okay. You, you're not, you're not trying to like sell the car. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't need to list uh, all, all the. What are the car facts? <laughs> yeah. It's a show. You know what yeah. I mean? I got leather seats. I got, I got the, the Rolex dial and the dash. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to tend to notice girls like a little bit of like mysteriousness. Is that, is that true? It's true. It, it makes you want to like go out with that person. Or you know, kind of look, some, look, in, look into doing something further, maybe some other day. Okay. Alright, man. You're, what do you what do you think? I mean, for me, like you know, you just gotta pay attention. Like you're talking, you can't. Sometimes your eyes can just go down. <laughs> no. you're because you're getting else. sleep, man. Yeah, like because you're thinking. Yeah. So you're that's like, a don't for you. Yeah. Right. Like you're thinking, like oh, well, what you know what I though? Next? You know what helps with that when you look is when you compliment them and mm. then look. <laughs> like, like, like for instance, like here we go. Like, like you'd be like, damn, you got a, you you got a good ass doctor. Like, yeah, don't know <laughs> them things are real. Oh you know? Then that kind of gives you an yeah, that they're like, oh, they are real. Are they not? Or they're oh yeah, they're, they're pretty good. So, oh may I? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, cut, that's cut. See, that's the other side of the world. Cause me, I don't have the courage to do that. Okay, yeah. I really don't. Like I, I'm personally, I'm. Uh, that, like if I go down that lane, I never have a chance to get to know this person. Mm -hmm. Really, it, it all depends on too though. You can't do that to everybody. Yeah, so, yeah. So you have to you gauge. Might get knees to the ball. <laughs> you need to gauge what type of girl you're going after first before you can set what dial of type of 
for him. Sometimes though, you can tell by the body language that they're giving you. Mm. Or smiling with their eyes, you know, or maybe like they'll just like touch you on the hand a little bit, like brush you or something, like while you're watching a movie or something. Like when you get a little bit of that, you can get a little bit more flirty. Okay. But if you're not getting anything and then you're initiating all the contact, then it's like creepy. All right. That's Says the guy who doesn't go on dates. So that's good that you're, you're one of the few that like, all right, I, I know this is probably getting Trust me though, that's a trial and error. <laughs> I think it's, it is funny though, like, two guys doing the same exact thing, same type of flirting, same romantic gestures, but if she's attracted to one and she's not attracted to the other, one is a romantic gesture and one's creepy. But they could be doing the same uh, thing. Alright, this is a very important question. Best pickup lines. And later we're going to go to best pickup lines that you've received. But anyway, you get first. We're freestyling this, right, just so yeah. you know. Yeah. Disclaimer. This is well, it's good, because you guys are rappers, so you guys can be able to... Vermin. Can you stand up, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this not happening here. No, 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 no. Thank you for coming to the right here. Okay. No. 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 Show, show, show her the one. Show her the one. Oh, this is the. There's the, a one. Let's see this. Okay. Okay. You, apparently, you have a thing. So. Oh, this is. It's a little, little, little. Oh, you have to stand, oh, stand up. Stand up. Me. Stand up. All right. Why well, you doing the DJ? No, he has. No, he has. Okay, so I'm walking down the street and I see you. You're just minding your own business. Oops, I'm sorry, I need you. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. I think I feel like pickup lines like some guys I don't know, I've never I don't think they work. I don't think they work. I think if you use a pickup line it it has to be kind of like you're both of you guys have to be aware that you're doing it and then you're laughing at it more than like it's definitely a joke. You have to yeah. put a smiley face next to it. It's usually through a text <laughs> with a bunch of ha-has and LOLs. Okay, I would feel like it's almost like it works in mid-conversation. You could never start with a, hey, so and so. It's gotta be like, hey, I got a funny one. You think this is funny? Yeah. So yeah. It's, shared, it's, you know? it's funny yeah. how we just said Roman F. We had him do the pick and <laughs> We just said how no one else. <laughs> I've heard some funny ones. Um, Are you a volcano? Because I'm in lava with you. Uh, <laughs> oh, he kept the eyes, though. That's oh, from the worst throwaway. Oh. <laughs> I have a friend who I kind of like, who always flirts with me and makes it really obvious at times. But whenever I react back, she gives me the cold shoulder. How should I deal with this situation? She shows so he... him a little bit of love, and then when he takes it further, she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay. I think when you're at that point, don't do that, please. <laughs> 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 to me, that usually means that a girl just she just likes attention. Yeah, yeah. she just enjoys yeah, your company. Yeah. Nothing else. And there are definitely girls that are just like yeah. that. Yeah. She might Aren't be doing that with. She might be teases. doing that with a lot of other dudes. If, yeah, yeah, that's what you gotta find. Might out. be adjectives in front of that. But sometimes <laughs> though, it was like the way they're raised. Like they're raised to say no, but they'll do that. But they still, they're still like, I hate to confuse dudes. Like, but it's true. Like they'll be like, well, I don't want to seem like a. Easy girl, yeah. uh -huh. but so I'm gonna play hard to get, but then I'm gonna show him a little more so that he still knows I'm interested, right? Yeah. No, am I right? right? Some it's like a push and pull kind yeah. of thing, yeah, because I don't want to be that easy, like let's go to the room, girl, but I do want him to know that I'm interested, so he takes me more seriously, yeah. So I think this depends on one factor is, is the guy even interpreting her flirting as just someone that's being friendly to him. That's one thing. But if she actually is flirting and being like overly friendly, then some girls just are just really friendly with a lot of guys. The guy that asked the question, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, if you're gonna take it that far, and if you're gonna take those little little if she flirts with you a little bit and then she says no, that obviously means you like her and I wouldn't close it off. I'd just be straight up with her. If you're at a point where you just go, look, it's been how long we flirt and whatnot, just tell her how you feel. Yeah. You know, you have nothing to lose. If she says no, then you should be moving on anyways. All right, this next one is from Gloria. I'm single and I want a boyfriend, but I'm the girl guys come to for dating advice. How can I let guys know I want a boyfriend without telling them? You know, I think saying that if, if guys like to talk to you about their relationships, that means you're probably a good conversationalist. Mm -hmm. So knowing wow. that you have a, a good insight, you have a lot to say, I think Gloria, like you should really spin off those conversations you know it's like give them their advice but or your gen generic advice but if you're the girl p people talk to then you'd be able to spin it to start getting into their interests start getting into like you know well, what do you like and once you connect the interests and connect the dots they realize that you guys have something in common and once you find out that you have some a lot in common with someone then you realize oh maybe they're more than a friend you know maybe that's some 
there's a, all of a sudden there's an attraction, you know? So, I mean, Reverend, what do you think? Well, I mean, usually when, if you give advice to people, that means you give good advice. Yeah. So, take your own advice. This is from Rachel. I have this guy who is new to school this year who I really like. I want him to ask me to prom. The only problem is I can't talk to him outside of school. What is a good way to ask for his phone number that isn't weird or awkward? Dude, this is the age Why of social you, media. Why can't, can't you talk to him outside of school? Stalk him outside of school? What I did back in high school was uh, I used to put like More secret code. love letters in their, in their locker. locker. <laughs> and, it, and the girl was like so like... I remember she was like, oh, curious, and she thought it was really cute, and then when she found out it was me, I had to make her a mixtape. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. And thus born was DJ yeah. Merman. <laughs> but usually that's how I did it, you know. Are, are they friends? Or is no, a, okay. it's a new guy. It's a new guy in school. Yeah. They don't have any class, obviously. Yeah. No, if there's no class, you got a new guy in school. Maybe, the, you, you never know, but if they're the new kid in school, maybe they're the ones that are actually feeling awkward. They don't know a lot of yeah. people. You should try to push them to be friends. Maybe the, you know they're the ones that are actually shy. The thing is, at the end of the day, if you want something, I mean, like whatever the society says, the guy's supposed to ask the girl, dude. If you want it, go try and get it. You know, like, it was nothing about yeah. 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 yeah, guys like that sometimes. Thanks for watching another episode of It's Complicated. I hope that we yeah. helped answer some questions or gave some insight. <laughs> If you have any questions that you want to submit, check the info in the links below and um, maybe we'll be answering your questions next time. Yeah, maybe and... Confuse them. <laughs> or confuse them. And special thanks to our special guest, Far East Movement, for joining us this time. And join us next time on another episode of It's Complicated. Thanks, guys. Thank yes, you. that was good advice. In this yes. episode, can you put, it's really yeah. complicated? It's really, it's really you know, if you're fighting and bickering more than you are happy in that relationship, then it's time to cut your losses. Yeah. Like if you're like, oh, I'm, I missed you. Oh, I'm so upset we were broken up for a couple hours. Yeah. Like it's time to just say your goodbyes.